Well, if you miss my smiling face today, it's because my smiling face doesn't look that fantastic. While I don't consider myself seriously vain, I am a little bit self-conscious. But right now, I have a very swollen lip. It's healing from getting severely chapped over the weekend. And it's broken out into a fever sort, neither of which look really great on camera. So for now, we're going to get these, which I don't think anybody will complain about. However, we do complain about this. Hello, Francisca. I'm Sam. I want to meet you face in face. Hello, Francisca. I'm Sam. I want to meet you face in face. Hello, Francisca. I'm Sam. I want to meet you face in face. Oh, these aren't just bad. This is just awful, actually. It doesn't sound like Sam. You can tell it's all clipped together. Yes, this is an AI rendering of I couldn't even tell what the name was, quite frankly, to come and meet him face to face. I don't know if they're talking about actually trying to trick someone into flying across the country to meet him, around the world to meet him, or if they're just trying to get somebody to go online and do a FaceTime. And if it's with this really bad AI and it's an actual Sam fan, I think that... Well, I think that we, anyway, would see right through it. So please do not forget to spread the word to any Outlander fan, any fan of any uh, actor or celebrity, that this stuff, it's baloney. And none of these celebrities are ever going to want to chat with us personally, just out of nowhere on, on social media. It's sad, but it is true. And of course, credit where credit is due. This one is shared by Outlander Online and says, someone sent me this from a scammer on IG that was using AI. This is not Sam Hewn. And you can tell by the laughing, crying emoticons that, uh, yeah, the, the, this was badly done. But again, we need to be aware that it's out there. Now, I briefly wanted to uh, share this post. I think that if you visit this channel fairly regularly, you have seen this list. But uh, Opie Fitz, also known as Debbie, uh, posted this. This was posted on Facebook this morning and is the first time I've seen anything about 7B episodes. I remember Katrina saying in an interview that she had struggled with a scene in episode 11 that had been filmed not long after her father's passing, thinking it was the loss at sea. And if you look below, uh, Debbie also says, purely guessing, but I'm thinking that might be the episode before, and this one might be where she's told Jamie has drowned at sea. I don't know how much they're packing into each episode. Now, I believe one of the viewers guessed uh, Adele Weiss's guess, uh, will this be in Senior's passing? And well, yeah, at this point, we don't know it could be both. Again, we can't tell how much is going to be packed into one episode. But uh, for anybody who may have missed the earlier release of these titles, let's go through them one more time. 708 is Turning Point. 79, Unfinished Business. 710, Brotherly Love. 711, A Hundred Weight of Stone. 712, Carnal Knowledge. That camel is gone now. 713, The Raven and the Dove. 714, You Didn't Get Used to It. 715, written in my own heart, blood, and 716, 100,000 angels. Again, I do believe we I released this quite some time ago, but um, if other people have yet to see it, and we've gotten a few new viewers, hi guys, um, this is the list, and I'm just noticing 7, 8 is there, and uh, I think that's funny that they put that on the list. But we're going to go with uh, these are our titles, and part of the reason I wanted to share this is it leads in very nicely to this. Now, of course, last week we got some news that the show will be starting back up in November. And Sam Hewn shares this. The wait is almost over. Excited to share a behind the scenes sneak peek from production of season seven, a part two. Outlander officially returns this November on stars and yeah we're all uh, having some mixed reactions to that but no one can have mixed reactions to some great new behind the scenes images assume this is shortly after they're getting off the boat um, at least I'm assuming that I could be way off but let's see what else we've got uh, these are again some of the same images I shared I think no I don't think I got a chance to share oh yeah I did share them in the full video last week um, but we're going to share them again just in case anybody missed them and because I saw a couple of new ones coming out this one is of course Roger Mac getting all pretty fied 
and we have John. Uh, if I repeat myself, I'll try to cut it later, but if I repeat myself in this video uh, with the images, please don't hate me. It is not on purpose. It is just because we've got quite a nice mixture of them coming out. Here we have a nice scroll through of uh, some of the same images, but a few new ones uh, provided by Gordon P. Morris, from what I understand. These are shared by Lady T777. Behind the scenes, pick season seven, part two. Gordon plays Hugh Frazier. I'm going to scroll this up just for a second. Behind the scenes, pick season seven, part two. Gordon plays Hugh Frazier. Ugh, it's just me and my RSAMD pal Sam mugging about on Kinlock Runock. Oh, yeah. The corrections will be down there as we film Outlander. Quite a few hashtags here, but you can see our Hugh just kind of chilling <laughs> with a lot of Outlander pictures here, behind the scenes stuff. We love them. We also have some recent birthdays here uh, shared by Batgirl95UA here. Happy birthday, Izzy and Mikhail. Hope you enjoy your celebrations. So a very happy birthday to our new Rachel and I uh, can't wait to see what happens next for you. And also a very happy birthday for Braden Clark. Hope you enjoy your celebrations as well lovely images of him here <laughs> i do like he always always matched up very well i think as someone who's friends with uh ian because very smiley when they smile you kind of want to smile with them both of them uh, so great pairing up in the show for the casting at least in my opinion in crazy news for our alum one of my favorite crossover actors going from Outlander to Star Trek, Ed Spilliers, has uh, some great news for his film, Irish Wish, a number one film on Netflix. And this one is shared by Ed Spilliers himself. A little film we made seems to be doing all right. Thanks for watching. And yes, I have watched it. I was going to watch it a second time. I thought it was uh, innocent enough that my, my daughter might get a kick out of it. But I have not watched it with her yet, just the one time. It is, again, a cute movie, worth a sit down and a watch. And, and remember, this is Ed's first time on a romantic comedy, so you, a, a new challenge for the actor. I do like that he picks characters that uh, maybe sometimes have something in common with a previous character that he's played, but is in some way a new challenge, going from a good guy to a bad guy to uh, a a guy on a boat in the water to a guy on a ship in space. It, it's really fun to watch and see how our actors change up their career as they try new parts, new shows, new movies. And speaking of trying something, well, not so new. He's revisiting something. Let's check out Graham McTavish. This is iFit and Graham McTavish Sheridan. Uh, revisit the Scottish Highlands with film actor and iFit guide Graham McTavish. Take in the breathtaking mountains of Scotland as you listen to him expound on the history of the Highlands. What's your favorite hike from this series? As I'm not familiar with the series, I can't pick a favorite hike. I'm enjoying these pictures, though, of him having a little walk around the countryside uh, along uh, gravel roads. Just a look at that scenery and just get to walk through it. I do wonder sometimes... Um, how much of Scotland actually always looks like this? It's so beautiful. I, I think I'm used to the United States, where if you drive in a certain direction for a while, things are going to start looking mighty different. But here is Graham just enjoying the beauty of his country. Uh, totally worth a listen, I'm going to guess. So I, I may take a listen to this and let you know how it goes later. And as I wind things down for this possibly shorter video than usual, let's take a look at something a little funny with our man Sam. Yes, you can see Sam here. Let's uh, let you see who uh, shared it. Ellie Outlander, season seven. And real quick, let's listen to the full video here. Cocktail. And if you don't have an appropriate glass, of course, <laughs> you could use my new okay. favorite drinking vessel. No. Yes. <laughs> I, I think a chocolate egg is the way forward. So uh, cheers to you all. I hope you all have a great Easter. Slime Java. I'm not saying that's a poor choice of drinking vessel. It certainly is an interesting one. And Ellie's uh, <laughs> message here is Sam Hewn is actually the funniest person ever. Uh, you know what? I'm half tempted to try that. Um, <laughs> all right, Sam. 
And when it comes to our man Sam, yeah, we, we've we've known this is coming out, at least if you're a watcher of this channel. Uh, Outlander Chronicles shares, which is your favorite. So hard to choose, but I love number one and number three. Photography by Randall uh, Al Slavine. Art direction by O.C. Doug. Styling by Mr. Monty Jackson. Grooming by Sean S. <laughs> Executive editor O. Clydia. Um, video Carly Chan. Uh, shot on location at Chamberlain. Who wearing timepieces by Roger Dubuid. What? By Roger I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name. A lot of hashtags following this. Of course, we want to look and see what Sam's pictures look like. So, uh, yeah, some good ones here. And yeah, I'm not going to say anything naughty here, but it, we did see him play it in the water earlier just so he can have his watch on. I'm going to guess the, that shows the watch is waterproof. That's lovely. At least we would hope so. And, oh, there's a simple pic. You're just kind of staring down the camera. This is that steel gaze thing going on. And the final one here. Oh, that is actually nice. I'm always afraid to wear too much white personally. I had to sit on anything at all. So I hope everything was nice and tidy for him. Wouldn't want him walking around with a dirty bum afterwards. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good here. Again, we got the steel gaze going on. So if you enjoy these, uh, you might want to go pick up a copy or four of The Nobleman. And that is pretty much it for this one. I probably will have another video out on Friday. As per usual, try to do two per week. It may not come out till Saturday. My daughter is home for spring vacation. So uh, I'm recording this while everyone else is still asleep. Rather than last night as planned. I was really hoping my lips swollenness would go down by this morning. No, it uh, it looks like a not one bee staying at my lip. It looks like a few landed on there and we're like, let's poker. So I have a fairly swollen lip. It's kind of humorous. Uh, I might take a picture and share it later, but right now, uh, I know, self-conscious, I'm going to stay behind the camera. If you enjoyed this video or just enjoy looking at clips of, of our friends here on Outlander, uh, please give this channel a like, a subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would like more content like it. Um, generally, you do see my smiling face, but trust me, today you, you thank me not to see my smiling face. Uh, I do want to say that my trip to the convention was a resounding success. I didn't get quite as many signatures as I had hoped simply because, um, well, it wasn't a Star Trek convention. It was an everybody convention. Now, and finding fans wasn't difficult, but it was a little trickier without the table, the booth. We did not get one. Instead, I ran around with a cart and a lot of supplies. But people were very kind about it. Um, Will Wheaton even signed one of them. So I'm counting it as a successful trip. I do have a couple of leftover t-shirts and I think two more hats. So uh, I may have a little giveaway on those for the donors. If you were a donor, pay attention if you'd like a legacy shirt or hat. Within the next week, I will probably be giving those away. Maybe about the same time that I announce where I am going for my very first Outlander convention that I will hopefully be able to share with you. But until then, if you would like more Outlander content, happen to like Star Trek or just want to hear me randomly talk about stuff, please go ahead and check out any of the other videos on this channel. And as always, you all, you might not see me there, but uh, I'll see you there. <laughs>